necessarily so. It ain't necessarily so. Today, crew I'm on the phone talking to Adriana M. Cleveland, one of the stars of the Gershwin's Porgy and Bess. It's been all over the world, the show has, but now it is in Pittsburgh at the Benedum. It's going to be starting February 25th, and I'm so excited about that. Adriana, how you doing? I am blessed. I'm so blessed. How are you? I'm doing fabulous. And you know what that I thought was really great, too? I understand you're a Pittsburgh native. How does it feel being back home? It's it's kind of surreal. You know, after all the stops we've done on tour, it, it feels so strange to be back home, but... You know, to feel the love and to see all of the happy and familiar faces, it's it's really welcoming. Well, we welcome you with open arms because this is a show that is an absolute knockdown hit. Nobody, of course, can question the fact that it is a show that people have been loving, my goodness gracious, what, since the 1920s, I believe, is yes. when it first started what was it, 1923 or something like that, that it's been wowing people? Tell us a little bit about Porgy and Bess. Well, Porgy and Bess is really a love story, and it turn, I mean, it starts as kind of a love triangle, really, between Porgy, Bess, and the character Crown. And then... After the after Crown kills Robin, then Crown goes away for a little bit, and Bess really gets to know Porgy, you know, the man behind the crutch, so to speak. And she realizes how wonderful of a man he is, how safe he can be with her, and how crazy love can be. And just knowing that the craziness about it is the amount of love you can feel, not the scariness of abuse and the roughness of it. When I said when it started, I should have said that it first premiered uh, in Boston in 1935. I said the 1920s. I was way um, off there. But it was in 1935 that Porgy and Bess first premiered. That was a long time ago. And it is still a favorite, you know, for, my gosh, so many decades later. And you mentioned Catfish Row. And your character, I know, is a woman of Catfish Row by the name of Lily. Yes. Ah, Lily <laughs> at Catfish Row. Who is Lily? If Can you give us a little background of her? Lily is the wife of Peter, the, the honey man. Yes, his name is actually what his occupation. He sells honey for a living. Um. I am one of the many, many women of Catfish Row. However, I am the one who loves to knit, loves sitting back on the, kicking back on the porch and having a great drink of ice, lemonade with my good friend Serena. I am also, I am a pot, I am a optimist with a sense of realism. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, anyone who talks to Lily in the show knows that I can be as silly as you want me to be. Yes, I can. I I can be the crazy, dramatic person. I can also be the the sweet, angelic person. But at the same time, I'm always real with you. The thing that I love about Gershwin, and, and besides the fact about this wonderful play, is the music. Oh, oh, the music. You've got to let us in on it, for those who don't know. And everybody, of course, knows about Porgy and Bess and about the Gershwins. But the fabulous, lush songs 
that are in Porgy and Bess. Uh, yes, the, the music itself can make you, the beauty and majestic of it can make you weep. It is just sheer heaven. I mean, the most iconic songs, I Got Plenty of Nothing, Summertime, the most recorded song in history. So- makes you want to dance in your seats. I've seen it before. And I saw, you know, and, and this is a show that I I encourage and I and I want you to share for young people that we had never probably even heard of. They may have seen the movie on T V, you know, um with 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 Dorothy and Dorothy Dandridge and Harry Belafonte. But they yes. never thought about it being a play ever. Um, you know. But could you talk about the fact that this could be for young people, two teenagers and, and everything for them to see, that maybe the hip-hop crowd, that they would say, oh, this would be fun to go see? Well, um, I, we um, it has been revised by Susan Lori Parks and Deidre Murray, and they have made the music more accessible than the opera. And, of course, they took everything into account, but really, whenever you hear certain certain pieces, you do want to dance, you know. I mean, in the opera, whenever I was seeing it, I wanted to sit and watch at the edge of my seat the whole entire time. But in this musical production, we have I have seen people whenever we're performing a little bit, especially at the beginning of Act Two, the dance of Kitty Wall. I see people dancing and moving as we're dancing and moving. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for talking. Oh, I got plenty of nothing, and nothing's plenty for me. I got my gal, I got my song, got him the whole day long. 